I grew up in Tawas, and I'm a family of six. Across the street, they had seven kids. Down the street, they had nine kids. It's a bedroom community. And what's happened is over time, all the kids have grown up, and the parents are left in these big houses. Don't want to leave the community, but there's really no place to downsize to live in the community they want to live in, to live in the style they want to live in, until this development came along. Twasson Springs is an exciting project to be involved with. It's just a beautiful development where we're able to do a master plan community and build a sustainable environment. What does it do for the whole community? What does it do for, for Delta? What does it do for Twasson? And, it, and that's the way you have to look at these things. It can't be what's, what's good for the developer. It's got to be what's good for everybody. We uh, completed the final kilometer of the Millennium Trail, which runs from downtown Ladner all the way to Dees Island Regional Park. We made a $300,000 contribution to Delta Farmland and Wildlife Trust to, to benefit wildlife and farming in Delta, including the great blue herons. And we extended walking trails and biking trails through our development, which allow the public access to Tawasson Beach. We've got amazing amenities at Tawasson Springs. In the clubhouse, we have the spa, the fitness studio, the banquet hall, and a restaurant. And on the grounds, we have a golf course, tennis courts, outdoor ice rink, and organic community garden. Some of the environmental features at Twasson Springs would be the main one being the geothermal energy that we're using to heat and cool the homes. It's a double benefit and that it's great for the environment but it also uh, probably is going to have the lowest heating bills of any development that I've been involved in. It's important for us to do a lead standard building because we really want to do the right thing for the environment and set a good example for the future. Like I said, I've lived in Twasson for 20 years I've lived in Twasson. I'm old man. I've lived in Tawas for over 40 years, and I've had lots of you know opportunities to, to move out of Tawas if I so desired. And uh, every time I looked, I saw that there's no better place to live than Tawas, and it's just getting better.